Hi everyone, this is Vishal from Reckon Academy. Today we will discuss about the most simplest tool used by a technical analyst which is called the trend line. Trend line actually gives the pictorial representation of the current trend in the market. This is the fall which uh, started in uh, September. We saw that the markets did made a high of 8.960 and after that we have seen a breakdown in the markets. If the technical analyst uh, does know actually very effectively if he knows how to use the trend line it is the one of the most simplest tool but gives a very early signs when a trend is changing. We can see that the breakdown in the trend came very early through the use of this particular trend line. Uh, we got the signal at 8600 that this entire uptrend which started at 6825 to 68.70 we got a breakdown at 8600 and from 8600 onwards we have seen this fall all the way to 7916. Now few technical analysts do have a habit of incorporating couple of indicators along with the trend lines which uh, gives them a little bit of comfort level uh, to increase the confidence in their analysis so in this chart I have added the stochastic indicator and the parameters of uh, this indicator is 1433 okay so basically these are the parameters of the stochastic oscillator a very simple analysis says that there was a breakdown at 8600 and uh, when the stochastic oscillator moved down from the overbought level uh, it signaled that the uptrend which was in the market has ended and markets would turn down. Now let's analyze on the opposite side when there was a breakout in the markets in 2016 in the early 2016 part did the trend line worked well or it did not okay uh, we can see over here tentatively that the trend lines have uh, worked pretty effectively and we have got a very good breakout again saying that the stochastic oscillator was moving upwards and we got a very big breakout in the nifty and this breakout was occurred at 8157 at 8157 we got a rally of almost uh, 8968 the rally extended to 8968 levels now we will take one more example of the massive fall which actually occurred in the 2015 market uh, okay this is the uptrend of 2014 let's join these points yeah there we see uh, we can see effectively one, two, three, three times uh, this trend line was tested and the fourth time over here it did not test the trend line but although we can see it has taken the support there has been a small hammer on this particular trend line and the stochastic oscillator over here when the breakdown actually happened was moving downwards from the overbought level this signaled a very big breakdown in the markets and post this breakdown we can also see my friends that there was a re uh, there was a bounce in the market uh, which found a resistance but uh, before the breakdown happened this particular trend line was giving support to the markets and now it reversed its role to becoming an resistance to the market now after facing resistance from this trend line markets started falling back and uh, the breakdown happened at 8341 after 8341 we have seen this market all the way going down towards 68 6900 levels so this is the power of trend lines actually it depends how do you use them they are one of the most simplest tools available to the technical analyst but if you can use it very very effectively then they do come handy now let's analyze Access Bank. Okay, this is the weekly chart of Access Bank. So, again, once again, we can see that this is a very simple tool. I have just tried and connected 
these three points one two and three and uh, after connecting this point what we have seen is there was a breakout over here and this time the stochastic was moving upwards post this breakout from 475 onwards the stock has moved all the way to 638 level so that is the power of trend line guys uh, we can use it for uh, daily charts we can use it for weekly charts there are some people who do use for extreme short term time frames like the 60 minutes uh, time frame or even below but uh, it is actually a good choice to only use the trend lines in higher time frames and there is one more rule which should be followed by use while using the trend line is you should not use uh, the closes of the price you should be joining the lows and the highs uh, by joining the lows and the highs you will get a better result uh, using the trend lines because there are many people who do use the close price of the stock or the index which is theoretically a uh, a right decision as a technical analyst but uh, the results will not be as good if you can use the lows and the highs of the price now once again we can see there is a valid breakdown in Axis Bank uh, in the year of 2015 at the 540 levels 541 tentatively after this breakdown has happened the stock has rebounded till 587 but it did find the resistance from this particular trend line and it was never able to cross this after this trend line was broken we could see from 541 level to 369 so this was a massive fall so such is the power of trend lines if you can really use them it will be a really handy tool and the same stock when it started a reversal in the markets let's see okay we have already seen I think so with this point we have already seen we'll try and check in the fall of 2016 mid part okay <clears throat> so here it is uh, once again the trend line has been handy in almost a period of two years we have caught one major breakdown a major breakout and now once again a major breakdown we can see that the trend line has been tested thrice by Axis Bank okay this is the first this is the first point this is the second point this is the third point after this three points were joined we have seen a major breakdown at this level this level is 557 let's check whether the stochastic oscillator is confirming this breakout or not okay so we can see that uh, from the overbought levels the stochastic oscillator is moving downwards which means that the breakdown in the trend line is being confirmed by the oscillator and uh, it is probable that the prices will move downwards from 557 levels we can see that the stock has made a low of 441 levels so this is how a trend line is useful like if an investor has bought Axis Bank at a very good level and he is riding all this uptrend all the way till up. If there is a valid breakdown, breakdown in the price it makes sense to come out of the stock and possibly reanalyze the situation when it is a good time to rebuy the stock because uh, after all if uh, the person is holding the stock when the stock is going down it will be considered as a draw drawdown in his portfolio in the next discussion we'll discuss about the rules and the regulations which should be adhered in using the trend lines because uh, it is not as simple that just by joining these couple of points or three points a valid trend line breakdown occurs there are few rules which have to be followed those rules we shall discuss in our next video thanks for right now trade well guys